Alright, <clears throat> guys, welcome back. This is episode 7 of our Subnautica playthrough. The best, one of the best sandbox survival games out there. Um, in our last episode, we managed to craft up ourselves a laser cutter. Here it is, whoops. I missed the. You know, this is our laser cutter, so now we can start cutting into some wrecks. I did promise to do some wreck exploring in the last episode, but before I want to do that, I do want to craft up a, a diver's reel pathfinder tool because it's a bit scary in wrecks without it. So that's going to require us to get some creepvine seed seed clusters. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna just swim out here over to the seaweed. Grab up some of the creep vine seed clusters. How many do we need? What are we, what is it? This one? Pathfinder tool, two creep vine seed clusters. As you saw in the last episode, we finally made a nice big oxygen tank so we can actually do some good swimming. Here we go, here we go. Great fine sea clusters, come at me. Okay, so we've got two of those. Now we can swim back to the life pod, make a pathfinder tool. Oh, we need some water as well. Have I got water already? Nope, okay, we're going to search out some water. One thing I've always wondered about this game is if you could survive on rations for the first bit of the game um, and then just then use water from these uh, bladder fish would you, be, uh, would you be able to not get the... would you be able to play the game and get the, make the cure on the... On the on the planet without getting the infection. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, soz. Shouldn't spoil it for you. I haven't actually played this game all the way through, but I have done a bit of playing, so. Soz, I just threw in a spoiler there. Volume down. All right, we've got our Pathfinder tool. That's gonna to be very useful for not getting lost inside wrecks. Now we're going to chuck down some water. Make some filtered water. Use up our power reserves in our... Um, let's see what a cooked oculus cost, uh, gives. So we've got 37. 630 gives you 30 food. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright. I might cook the eye eye as well, just because I am real still a bit hungry. Right, that's pretty good. I'm pretty full up now. Um, yeah, so let's go head to do some exploring of this wreck that's over near Yaki Kazar's remains. Got 52 energy in my seam off. It's a bit broken. This stuff keeps banging into me. S drive through. What is it? Pilot through? Pilot through the sea kelp forest. Across the red seaweed biome. Over the rock mountain. to the mushroom forest. Then we've just got a sail. Maybe sail? Sail? What is the term that submariners use when they're moving through the ocean? Just got to sail around. Sail around the mushroom forest until we find the wreck. Giant mushroom in the middle. 
And I'm pretty sure the wreck is on the other side of that. Dark, very dark. Hmm? That is not the wreck. That is two jellyfish. And a giant fish. Keep going. Where are you? Is that it? Where was this wreck that we found? Another good thing for exploring is to always carry some always carry some beacons with you so you can find oh, okay. We're back around here. I am lost now. Great. Anything over there? I didn't think it was this far away from the giant mushroom. But I'm pretty sure it was on this side of the giant mushroom. Rick? Where are you, Rick? Must be further out. 46% power. Nope, we're coming to the edge. It's definitely not this far out. Guess I should head back in. up some of the power reserves in the sea base that we built. What's that? Nothing. Just some coral. Another thing that we really need to make. Like, oh, the leg just popped in. Welcome aboard, Captain. put the repair tool on the board so we can repair this baby. No, I did not want to do that. Can I go back up straight up? Yep. No power. That's part of the problem. Let's just unload this. Don't need the cutting tool for now. Repair that seam off, then jump inside it. Oh, I didn't even charge it fully. What ifs? Now we're at 50% power. Why didn't think it was going to be this hard to refine that wreck. I thought it was going to be right here. Interesting. It's not over that way. Maybe it's uh, over here. Must be over here. Let's just keep sailing around looking for some of those things. Researchables. Wreck! Where'd that wreck go? Here? Here it is. Alright, let's find the entrance. Now we've got a nice big oxygen tank and a laser cutter. We'll be able to make some stuff happen in here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen and the rebreather, right? We made the rebreather? No, we did not. Oh! Alright, here is a shredded room. Is there any? Exit. Isn't there an exit in here? There's no exit in here? Huh. Maybe it's underneath? No? Okay, so this room is empty. What's across in this room? Is there nothing in this room? Did I waste all that time 
making all that stuff. I can't actually get anything. Here's something in research. Power cell charger. Now I have researched. And a bench. I think I saw... Ah. Jumping the seam off. Do I see rebreather in here? Tools. Hello? Top? Should be at the top. Yeah, here. Wiring kit and fiber mesh. Why did I not make one? Interesting. Nothing in this box. I think we checked that last time. Nothing here. Room one more time. Nope. 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 Okay. So that's fun. This entry point is nothing. But um, there might be something under here. There was some dangling cords. Where are they? Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, a door. Mm. Cyclops thermal reactor module. Modification station. We oh, only have two or three of that. Cool. Anything in there? No. No. Blocked entry. That was where we were trying to get in. Oh, there's a data pad. Oh, scanning room voice log. The way I see it, no one's to blame here. He gave me the wrong coordinates. She didn't give me clear instruction. Okay. I'll rephrase. You've been equally incompetent. Now, we've lost time, but we're closer to the planet. So if the guard is out there, the scan should pick it up. Why are we even helping the Mongolians? They're the competition. Enjoy your shore leave on Sanjay Station. Like having fuel in the tanks? Thank the Mongolians. We run the scans, we show them we didn't find anything, and we say thanks for the free dinner. Clear? Sir, there's something odd on the surface scan here. Turn that recorder off. Lol, he did not want to share what he found. We're using our laser cutter. Cutting our way into here. Oh, I really shouldn't use this as the power source thing. Yeah, let's use the... Use the one from the tool that we're not using at the moment, the repair tool. Here's something. Propulsion cannon fragment. Awesome. New tech. There we go. Unlocked the propulsion cannon. Then up into this room. Nope. Back here. So, um, last time I was playing this game, using the, wait, where is it, dive reel. Because of the beam. So 
So that's that room empty, I think. Oh, cool. There's a there's an arrow telling us where to go. Thirty seconds. Thank you. Thank you, Dark Real. You made it a little bit easier. Clear nodes. Drop that node. Oh, what have we got here? Picture frame. That leads nowhere. Awesome. I really love the way they changed the dive reel. It used to be just a trail of breadcrumbs, but now it's got arrows and you can drop it, change the equipment and then come back to it. Like before you weren't able to change as soon as I switched it would disappear into nothing and then you'd be lost still. Alright, I think that's it for this wreck that we've found. Oh, there was something. Oh, this one. There is just one more thing in that room that we can discover and I couldn't find it. So another quick check. wreck I think. So let's just clear the nodes and then head on back to our seamoth. And then we need to next well first we need to craft a crafter for this base. And recharge the batteries on the old seamoth. Then, have we researched enough of the biofuel reactor? We've got so much stuff that we need to build. First thing I want to build is something that can increase the depth of my seamoth. But before that I want to build a crafter so that I can actually cook food here. Instead of having to go back to the um, escape pod. So, to make a crafter we're going to need to switch back in the construction tool which is here and then it's got no power so we actually need to what did I just switch out? no battery, this one so get rid of the battery in the laser cutter then put the habitat builder then that now to build the nuclear reactor but not the bioreactor to build the fabricator and the one gold and one table coral yeah I don't have that with me awesome but I wonder if I should how's the power? the power's alright I wonder if I should uh, just get it from this area. Going inside this tree structure always scares me because it's a lot of tunnels and it's really easy to get lost in there. But on the other hand, so here's the table coral. How much table coral is it? Hmm. Wasting oxygen. One table coral, one gold. Awesome, we got four. Three. Four. Cool, that's too much. Now I need a... 
Now I need a storage thing on here. How much is the storage locker? One quartz, two titanium. Alright, let's build one of those. Turn it. Build it. Store it. And then we can actually post this keep calm poster. Put that on five. There we go. Hello kitty. Nice, a bit of decoration. Looks nice. Now we need to. Oh, I've got a computer chip for some reason. What's that for? I need gold. So gold is inside this mushroom. Just need to find the entrance. Here it is. Be careful. Don't die. What's this? Creature egg. Another creature egg. Don't get lost. Oh my goodness, I hate this tunnel. Bone shark. Where do we go up? Lithium, I can take that so that I can reinforce my base. I'm at 50 oxygen. And I'm not finding any gold. But I did find some weird eggs. Oh, that's a bone shark egg. So there should be a tunnel up here somewhere. Unless this is the top level, is it? It might be because the top level is where you find the find those eggs. Oh, I swear there was gold in here before. Anyway, never mind. Evidence suggests it was eaten away by other life forms over many centuries to form these natural caves. Unless there's some on the outside. Lots of table coral on the outside. 30 seconds. Yep, I'm already heading up to the surface. This mushroom tree goes really high. <coughs> Not actually that close to the surface though. Pretty deep. Pretty deep from the surface of the water. Okay, so there is no gold here. Let us jump back inside the sea moth and go so find some more gold. So that we can make a constructor here. I'll head back in the general direction of... Yep, we're at 100% power. General direction of, actually, crevice. There's lots of minerals down in this crevice. Should be able to find some gold here. 
Oops. Not inside that. I want to oh, there's some lit lithium. Here we go. Gold. Thank you. First try. Um, did I already research a spade fish? Yes. Right, I'll just take it. What's in here? Nothing. Cool. Get back in the seam off. Get back to the, the base to make the construction tool. Then we can use power to make food and water. Ooh, what's that? Um, one thing that I need is a water purifier. That'd be great. But first things first. Actually, what I really wanted to make was the hatch. Ta -da. Then I want to make this, but I need my table pole. Cool. Now I can make some food, a veggie and a spade fish. does the Reggie give? Uh -huh. Cool, and we're going to need water soon. Um, we're at 70 power. Now I'll re rebreather fibre mesh and wiring kit. So to make fibre mesh it's two creep, being, creep vine. And to make a wiring kit it's two silver which is back on the other other base, so let's go back there. Let's head back to make a rebreather so we can swim better. All systems online. There's some waterfish, some bladderfish, but we won't do that. We'll head back to the escape pod, check out the um, distress call from them, from someone, and then. Let's go from there. We're running low on water, so we'll need to pick up some uh, bladder fish somewhere on our way. And we need how much creep vine sample for this? Two. Two creep vine sample for one. Um, Really, and I usually only go for the creep line. That is doesn't have the seeds on it, so that I don't destroy the seeds when I'm chopping the creep line down. So we'll head back to our storage in our escape pod. Grab some silver make a, oop, oh, here's water, and nearly ran over myself with the seam off, oi, what the heck is this thing giving me, I just got a boomerang fish and a peeper out of it. Alright, continue heading 400 meters. I think I need more water. I can probably grab two more bladder fish if I see them. Hunting for bladder fish. Eventually, we won't need to hunt so much of this stuff because we'll have systems in place to fix it. Um, reduce the need for it. That a platter fish, lots of sleeping peepers. 
What's that? Boomerang fish, I think. There's the platter fish. Come here, you little water, water sack. Team off and then head up to the escape pod. We haven't got the rebreather, right? Head? No. Alright, let's make the rebreather. Propulsion cannon. Wiring kit. Fiber mesh. Two. Oh my goodness, I've only got one silver. I don't know, well, I can make the fiber mesh just to make space in my inventory. And I can make the water so that I can drink and not die of dehydration. Some of this water. Vital signs stabilizing. All right, we've got two water left. Now we need to go and find some more silver, which is going to be at the edge of this thing, this biome. Look for a cave entrance here. Watch out for the explodey fish. Don't want them going after the sea moth. Maybe grab a bit of quartz. Grab a bit of copper. Not what I'm looking for. I am looking for sandstone. Silver. Hooray! Get that quartz, head back to the escape pod. Always got to be careful of those exploding fish around your sea moth because they can deal some serious damage. Alright, so we can make our uh, wiring kit now, which is here, and we made the fibre mesh already, so now we can make our rebreather. And automatically equipped. Alright, what is the radio message? on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Alright, how are we going to find that? Life pod six. Oh, that's great. Okay, it's in the it's in the red kelp forest somewhere. Are we gonna be able to find it? 
we know where that we've got a marker that takes us over the red kelp forest. So we can at least go there and have a look. Hopefully we can find it so that we can make something of this episode. Alright, so what were you looking at? You were looking at a flat ledge with a Oh, here's something that's probably a seamal fragment. Yep. Thanks for the titanium. Oh, there it is. Life pod 6. Looking at that, is it? Life pod 17. Nope. We don't want 17, we want 6. What's inside 17? Have I already searched out 17? What's 17 here? The crevice, is that the one near the crevice? Maybe. Alright, anyway. Keep searching. Ooh. Alright, let's do some more wreck exploring. What's over here? Another seamoth fragment. In the original, when they were still in early early access, this was the only way I knew how to find seamoth fragments. Today, we already have our seamoth, so it seems that these seamoth fragments are all going to convert into titanium. Metal salvage, empty crate, seamoth fragment. Closed crates. Swim over here and grab my seamoth. Anything to waste because I'm the only one here that's going to be able to make use of this stuff. Lead, nice, that's exactly not what I need. Oh dear. Sand shark. What's in here? Anything to research? Nope. Oh, there's another deep cave entrance. What's that sand shark going after? Not me? Cool. Alright, lots of... Oh, there's a bioreactor fragment. That is what I want. What? I've got it now? Where are you? Oh, okay, cool. I only need one more. in here. Nothing. Awesome, as usual. Oh, scanner room. How many scanner room fragments have I got? Two of three. What's this one? This one is nothing. A piece of the ship. There's a piece of scanner room. There's a bitey fish going after me. Where are you, bitey fish? Okay, well. That's metal salvage there. That's a sealed box. That's a sand shark. And we're going to run back to the sea moth find an entrance into this wreck. Ouch.
There's an entrance. So, in order to stay safe, take out the Pathfinder tool, make a connection. Data. Now there's Oof. scary. But not that scary with the upgraded tank and the Pathfinder tool. What's this gas leaking? Is this more titanium? Nope, didn't have the battery charger. Oh wow, this thing is lasting ages. Anything else down there? No. There is a hole here. Alright, cool, cool. Into a tube. Nope. Back up. had lots of experience with this wreck and it always leads me astray so this way oh I do like those arrows all right so we've got a big bottle of water that time 30 all right, let's carry on still with our pathfinder nodes yes up, down, back. And into this tunnel. All right, I have been trapped there before when I didn't have this path plan at all. Oh dear. Alright, that's the way out. How many more have we got? More disinfected water, nice. Pulsion cannon I've got. Battery charger I've got. And my inventory is full. Alright, let's go back and make some more Let us go back and make some more base. Which way is out? This way. And we got a new message. We didn't even find the one that we were looking for here. Alright, first we're going to head back to the base. Expand it out a little bit to use up some of our titanium. Probably have to use some lithium to reinforce it again. And then I've got to remember how I was going to expand it out. So I'd already started making a plan. Alright, so we half explored that wreck. I think this is probably a good time to end the episode after we've done some expansion on the base. I'm going to park the seam off, let it charge up for a bit, and bring this pipe out. Now, would I want to build a circular room here, or here, or both? more 
multi-purpose room. Welcome aboard, Captain. We're gonna have to swap in our constructor. Where are you? Oh, one thing I could have done was drink this water. Whoops. And then constructor. Got a battery? Yep, 50% charge. All right. Let's come across here. Now I think I was going to build a circular room here, maybe. Multi-purpose room. Use up some of our titanium there. Still got a titanium to go. So what I want to do is build a T-piece. Uh, maybe not there. Build a straight tube. And then a T-piece. then build another multi-purpose room next to it and then they're connected awesome but we've run out of titanium so that'll be it for me this time guys I'll catch you in the next uh, episode thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see on the channel leave some comments below to let me know where I noobed it up or let me know what sort of games you want to see on the channel next. Alright, catch you around. Thanks, thanks for coming and stopping by.